After we looked at the core principles and protections offered by Namibia's Access to Information Act in the last video, our next step focuses on how to practically use these rights. Here's part two. How to request for information. So, how does one go about requesting for information? Well, according to the Act, there are five steps involved when requesting for information. Namely, step one, making a request for information to the information officer of the public or private entity. It's important that you note that the request must be made specifically to the information officer of the entity. Your request for information can be written or oral and must contain the following. One, enough details about the information you want. This will help the information officer identify that information. Two, reasons for the request. If the information is necessary to safeguard a person's life or liberty, or if it's a request to a private entity for information that may assist in the exercise or protection of any fundamental right or freedom. Three, the preferred form and language you would like to receive the information in, and four, if you are requesting information on behalf of someone else, an authorization from that person. The access to information must be free of charge. However, if you request a copy or a written transcript of the information, there will be a reasonable reproduction fee or transcription fee. If you request material in a language other than the original, there will be a translation fee. After you've been informed of all these fees that will apply, you can change your request as long as the copying, transcription, or translation has not already been done. Step 2. Receiving the requested information immediately or getting a written acknowledgement. If the requested information is readily available, the information officer must provide it to you immediately. If the requested information is not readily available, the information officer must give you a written acknowledgement of your request. In this case, the next steps will apply. It's important to have an acknowledgement confirming the date and time of your request. Step 3. The information officer must consider your request within strict timeframes. If it's a normal request, the information officer must make a decision on your request within 21 days. The count starts on the day after you've made your request and does not include Sundays and public holidays. If it's an urgent request that involves information necessary to safeguard a person's life or liberty, the information officer must decide on your request within 48 hours. The count starts from the time the request was received. Step 4. The information officer must notify you of the decision on your request. There are five possible outcomes for your information request. Namely, 1. Your request is granted. This means you'll have access to the information, but you may have to pay a reproduction, transcription, or translation fee first, depending on the form of information you requested. Two, your request is granted, but access is postponed because the information is about to be tabled in parliament or submitted to the person or body it was prepared for. Three, your request is granted, but access is delayed because the information contains personal or confidential information about another person. That party must be given a chance to challenge the decision. Four, your request is referred to another entity that actually holds the information. Or five, your request is denied for one of the following reasons. The information cannot be found or does not exist. The information is excluded from the law or the information is exempt information, such as information that could compromise national security or an ongoing criminal investigation. If your request is denied, you have a right to challenge the information officer's decision, which is step five. The process for doing this is explained in the next video. To access more summarized information on the Access to Information Act, visit www.action.com dash namibia.org